We are here with your current world champion, Mr. James Conrad. James, welcome to the OTB Open. Thanks so much, Zoe. And you've been playing some solid golf, my friend. In the last couple of weekends, DDO, a 10th place finish last weekend in contention and certainly battling for that Masters Cup title. Coming into this weekend, how are the feelings? How are the thoughts? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really strong about my game right now. I feel like even some of the tournaments that I haven't quite finished near the top, maybe early in the tournament, I've still been kind of in the mix. I've, I've had a lot of lead card and, and chase card appearances the last month or so. So just want to keep that good golf rolling and, and hopefully stay right in it till the end again this week. And the redesigned Swenson golf course, how do you feel about these practice rounds and the course itself? Um, I feel okay about the course. I think it's done pretty well on this for, for what the property has to offer. It's a pretty flat piece of property, so there's only so much creativity you can I think that you can really have out here. But um, there's a, there's a lot of cool cool challenging holes out here and a lot of long shots. So um, yeah, just have to go out there and, and rip it, keep it in play, and hopefully make make my putts out here in the wind. Excellent. Before I pass it off, we heard that you were involved last Tuesday with the educational Community Connect program the Disc Golf Pro Tour does with Uplay. Tell us what education in disc golf means to you, James. Yeah, that was such a cool opportunity. Uh, just a couple days ago here in Stockton, um, we went to a, a small charter school and got to introduce disc golf to a whole bunch of kids. I, I don't think really any of them had hardly heard of or at least not played disc golf before and um, yeah as someone who got into disc golf as just a small kid I was probably six years old or so it's become such a huge part of my life that um, it's awesome to have the opportunity to go out there and introduce kids to disc golf and even if just a couple of them get get hooked on disc golf the way I have I think that'll be awesome. Hey James, Matt, PDGA. Um, a lot of it has been made recently um, online about, um, well, it's, it's, it's kind of a joke that you have a, a bad temper when things don't <laughs> go well. And I think, I think the observation is, you know, that, that you're really cool out there, that you don't take bad breaks, uh, you don't get emotional about it. Just wondering if you could speak to that a little bit um, and, and tell us, is that, is that part of your temperament? You're, are you naturally like this or is it something that you came by uh, intentionally with practice? Yeah, I think those, those uh, little videos of James's rage and stuff like that are funny. Um, it, I have a unique perspective because I, I obviously do feel frustration and I'll, I'll get somewhat angry, but um, I try to make it a point, you know, to not, not make that terribly obvious to, to people who might be watching or people on my card. I think it, it's not really fair to my competitors if I'm out there making a huge scene and um, one person's energy can kind of like bring down the energy of the whole card. So I think it's pretty important as a competitor to be a good sport and to not let the feelings that you're personally having um, really affect the whole card's energy. And so it's something that I think comes from partially my demeanor. I'm pretty laid back in general, but also something that I'm consciously trying to um, uh, bring to my cards, bring to my game, that kind of thing. This may sound like an odd question to ask a, a two-time major champion, but how much do you care about winning? I care a lot. Um, it's what we're out here for, you know, to, to try to win. I'm, I'm like a gamer, a competitor, so it, it's fun just to be in the mix, you know, but it, it's so much more fun to, to be right there and then to put everything together when it matters and, and to come home with that win. Uh, we, we've heard from the, uh, the TDs uh, that Hole 18 here was inspired uh, a bit by Hole 18 at the Fort, uh, which you've had some, some success on, famously. <laughs> um, what, uh, if you're heading down the stretch and you're in contention on Hole 18, what's the game plan? 18's a cool hole. It's, you have to throw probably close to a 400-foot straight shot, and then um, you kind of have your options. But I do like that slow putter turnover coming into that green. There's a bit of airspace, um, kind of high left of the basket coming in. and it's kind of a about circle one sized like almost an island you know it's not a full island but yeah try to um, draw a disc in there and land it nice and soft hopefully get that birdie down the stretch James we were talking uh, before you stepped on just sitting here we're all sweating <laughs> is are you uh, the kind of competitor who's constantly checking the weather uh, for 
heat like this because it might be particularly hot this weekend or you just kind of show up on the day of and deal with it? I think it's important to have a, a little bit of idea what, what to expect weather-wise. I'm not, I don't check too often, but there's enough other people that do that you, you know, you kind of hear what the forecast is looking like. Um, as far as the heat, I, I'd prefer the heat to the cold, but I think it, it's crucial to really drink a lot of water. You know, I'm going to be trying to drink probably two gallons of water a day, something like that, to make sure I stay hydrated and that my body keeps on working for me out in the heat. Thanks, James, and thanks for joining us. Yeah, you're welcome.